What do you want to be? This is a character building story about goodness. And one thing we learn about goodness is it's always doing what is right to please God. It was a beautiful day in Agape Land, and the conductor had packed a picnic for himself and the children. Stevie, Nancy, he called. Come here, children. I want to tell you a story before lunch. A story? Yippee! cried Stevie and Nancy. My, my, chuckled Mr. Conductor. Such excitement. But before I begin the story, I have a question for you. What do you want to be? To be? Nancy asked. Do you mean when we grow up? Well, actually, the conductor said, I was thinking more about right now. What do you want to be? The children didn't know what to say. Well, said the conductor, I'll tell you the story first. Once upon a time, there was a family of honeybees called the Niz family. They all lived in an old hollow tree at the edge of a meadow in Agape land. There was Papa Niz, Mama Niz, and two boys named Busyness and Happiness. The littlest one of all, they just called Baby Niz. The Niz family buzzed around the meadow all day long, carrying pollen from one flower to the next and drinking the delicious nectar the flowers made. At the end of each day, they turned the nectar into honey. They stored the honey in their home, the beehive. They liked the work they did because they knew it pleased Majesty the King, and that was the most important thing of all. Now, you may have wondered why two of the Niz boys had the names Busy Niz and Happy Niz, while the littlest was just called Baby Niz. That's because Mama and Papa Niz didn't give their children names until they found names that fit just right. Busy Niz could fly very fast. He liked to go to as many flowers as he could each day. He liked to be busy. Happy Niz, as you can probably guess, was a happy little fellow. He didn't hurry as much as his brother. He went slowly and enjoyed the colors and scents of each flower. What was Baby Niz like? You shall soon see. Our story begins on the first day Baby Niz was allowed to go to the meadow with his family. His mother and father had given him flying lessons. They told him about carrying pollen from flower to flower and drinking nectar. Now, finally, he was old enough to go to the flower patch. Baby Niz was so excited. When they got to the meadow, Mama Niz pointed to a patch of red flowers. Baby Niz, she said, why don't you go over to those red flowers for a while and drink the nectar there? They are very sweet. As soon as Mama Niz left, another young bee flew to Baby Niz. I hope you aren't going over to those red flowers, the strange bee said. You shouldn't let her boss you around. Why don't you come to Purple Flowers with me? No, thank you, said Baby Niz. I want to obey her, and I want to learn to be a good honeybee. Oh, brother, said the strange bee. You're no fun. Baby Niz shook his head, then flew over to the red flowers. There he met a beautiful orange butterfly. Hello, little bee, said the butterfly. Will you come and play with me? We can hop from flower to flower all day. I'm sorry, said Baby Niz. Maybe butterflies can fly from flower to flower, but honeybees stay and drink nectar and gather pollen, and I want to be a good honeybee. Do whatever you want, said the butterfly, and she flew away. As the day went on, Baby Niz started to feel hot. He decided to fly down and rest in the shade of a big leaf. On the ground, he met a turtle who was sunning himself on a moss-covered rock. Hello, little bee, said the smiling turtle. It's not easy being a honeybee, is it? No, said Baby Niz. I'm tired. You certainly are working hard, the turtle said. I want to be a good honeybee, Baby Niz explained. I guess I thought it would be easier. Ah, oh, said the turtle, who was really quite a wise old fellow. It's not easy to be good. It's something you have to want to be. Sometimes it takes hard work. But being good makes majesty happy. And that's really something. It's the very best of all, said Baby Niz. 
You know, I feel much better now. I'm going back up to fly around some more. Goodbye and thank you. And off he went. At the end of the day, the Niz family flew back to the hollow tree. Baby Niz told the others all his adventures from his first day among the flowers. Then each bee made some honey to put into the hive. Papa Niz tasted a little of the honey each one had made. After all, he always said, if you have sweet things inside you, sweet things will come out. <laughs> when he tasted the honey baby Niz had made, he was happy to find that it was the sweetest of all. Mama Niz, he said, I think I know what we shall name our youngest son. We shall name him after what he wants the most. Niz understood right away. Baby Niz, from now on you will be called Good Niz. How do you know what I mean, children? The conductor asked. I think so, said Nancy. You asked what we wanted to be. I'd say I want to be good because that makes majesty happy. It doesn't matter whether I'm big or small, Stevie added, or what work I do when I grow up. I can always try hard to be good because making the king happy is the best thing of all. I'm glad you love Majesty so much, said the conductor. By the way, speaking of bees, I think some pickle and honey sandwiches would taste good right now. Pickle and honey sandwiches, both children cried at once. <laughs> Don't worry, said the conductor with a smile. I made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for you. Made it. 